Now that we have a firm understanding of some of the key components of Git, we can start learning how to use it. Git is very flexible, but when you're working on a project with other team members, it can be helpful to have an agreed upon approach for how you'll manage your work. And that's exactly what a Git workflow is. The Git branch workflow is a common workflow and works really well with continuous integration. Understanding it will help you understand most other Git workflows. One central component of the Git workflow is the main branch. The main branch is a designation that any Git branch can have. And we'll use dev in our example. The concept of using feature branches is that each change you make to your software is separated into its own branch. The advantage of this is several developers can be working on separate features and improve the software faster. Each branch will start by pulling from the main branch. And as that feature is being worked on, it'll have its own set of commits. When that feature is finally ready to be added, it'll be merged back in to the main branch. And we can have several of these going at the same time. The biggest challenge with this approach is each time a feature or bug fix is merged back in with the main branch, it could conflict with another change that has been made before the development of that branch started. These are called merge conflicts. So we want to keep our feature branches as short as possible. This will make our merge conflicts nice and simple and easy to manage. And this works hand in hand with using a continuous integration environment because each time we merge with main, we can run all of our tests and our automated build with the goal that our main branch will always be functioning. The final takeaway I want you to have about this workflow is that the main branch will be an essential repository like GitHub. Thanks for watching.